Hey, I'm Tom, and I quickly wanted to show you how this page works. Um, as you might have seen, this is like a quick example page that contains a bunch of posts that mostly talk positively about NetN or Strapi. And um, if you click on new, you can see like a little form pops up where you can uh, add your own post. Um, but there are also a bunch of tweets that you could open by um, clicking on them. Now, you're probably familiar with Strapi since you joined StrapiConf, um, and there is really nothing exciting to the structure of this website. Uh, posts are just uh, their own content type, and if you open one of these, you can see they have obviously the content, an author, the URL, and the created date. And that's about it. As far as Strapi is concerned, it works great. This page um, fetches the post from the API straight away, like whenever you load it, it's live data, so it's blazing fast, really fun to use. But what's more interesting here is how these posts are created and um, managed um, because there is no manual work involved. Like you don't have to go here, click on add new posts. This all happens automatically through NADN. And we'll take a look at um, both cases. Like first the form case. Whenever you fill out the form that I've shown you just here, like uh, this little thing, what happens is the uh, system tally that hosts this form sends a webhook to NADN. So we look at this webhook, we can look at all the data and it has received from Tally here. Um, obviously lots of uh, HTTP headers, not that interesting. But there's also the uh, text that uh, I have entered in the form and my name, obviously. This is then processed by NetN. In the first step, I'm just simplifying it a bit, right? So we need the content, author, create a date, URL, everything else I throw away. Um, and I'm then sending it to Google for sentiment analysis. So if we open this note here, uh, you can see it does have a bunch of settings on the left. They're currently grayed out because we're looking at past data. You can't manipulate past data, um, but you can still see what's um, happening here, right? So there is a set of credentials that's been selected here. Um, I'm using the analyze, analyze sentiment option. Um, and the content obviously is in it and is awesome. And so is Strapi. On the right side, we can see the response coming back from Google. Um, Google assigns a score to all these sentiment analysis. Um, score below zero means it has a negative sentiment. Score above zero, up to one, uh, means a positive sentiment. You can see this is a very positive um, phrase and has gotten a score of 0.9 from Google. So just uh, short of one. And the next step, I'm just merging the, the original input data and the output data from Google back into one object. So what we have here is the original content as well as the analysis from Google. I'm then checking if the score is very positive. Uh, so if it's above 0 0.4, and if so, uh, the item is sent to Strapi. So NetN has a pre-built integration for Strapi, the Strapi node. If you look into this, it looks very similar to the Google uh, natural language node that you've seen earlier, right? So it just has the credentials here. Um, and I'm then saying create a new entry of type posts with these columns that um, it simply takes from the previous node. So these four here, um, and then it gets added to Strapi, uh, simple as that. And that happens automatically, right? Once this has been set up, obviously no further user interaction is required. Um, and quickly take a look at this. Tom, Strapi, still great. Still going strong, let's say something like that. Let's see positive enough, but it should be right. So if you reload the page now, you can see the new post has appeared here. And um, it's obviously also in Strapi. So if we reload the post page here, do, 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 do. here we go. This is our new post. And um, now the other case are these tweets. You can see like the last three messages here are all these uh, manual posts. Um, Everything below here is tweets, right? You can click on them to open them if needed. Now, the reason uh, they do not come in in real time is because this shows a polling approach, right? So in this case, no data gets actively sent to NetN. Instead, I'm simply running this workflow every 30 minutes. This can, of course, be configured, right? You can add whatever you want in here. Um, and then going to Twitter and simply search for tweets containing Strapi or NetN uh, in the English language. Uh, and uh, then it's pretty much the same from here. I'm first simplifying the result again, just looking at content, author, created URL. I don't care about the rest. Um, I'll do one more step of filtering here compared to this. This is where this workflow is a bit more complex. I check if the, the tweet is a retweet or an older tweet. 
don't care about these. Lots of retweets are boring, so I only want the, the original tweets. So um, what I'm checking here is does the content start with RT at, um, which is how Twitter still marks retweets internally. And um, is it a relatively recent tweet? If so, the process is exactly the same. Uh, data gets passed on to Google for sentiment analysis, then merging it with the input data again, and then validate, does it have a positive sentiment? Yes or no. If it does have a positive sentiment, it makes its way onto the page. Uh, just like that, again, three times the charm here from the looks of it. And all these three posts appear on this page here. And that's how NNN can automate content ingestion in Strapi.